My lady, are you sure you wish to do this? Of course you have a choice. Of course you do. Everyone has a choice. We can inform the Alderman you're not well and return to the palace immediately. <sighs> no, my lady. They would not judge you. I am not lying, my lady. They would not judge you for falling ill and remaining at the palace. Unfortunately, I cannot say that they would not judge you for other things. If you're sure, then we can begin our visit. All right. Yes, my lady. I am aware they are staring. Clearly, they did not know you were coming. Come. The hospital is this way. Make way, please. A royal majesty must pass through. Thank you. My lady, please watch your step. Just try to ignore the whispers. The village people will gossip about everything. No, the color you're wearing is fine. It is not meant to be a celebratory visit. We're here to offer aid to the sick. You look fine, my lady. Be careful. There is a mud patch here. Here. Hold on to my arm. There we are. Just this way, please. <sighs> Prepare yourself, my lady. This... This place is not like the Royal Infirmary. <sighs> yes, my lady. This is real. Money is tight in villages like this. Medicine becomes less of a priority when food is scarce. You can provide comfort, my lady. Ensure them that you'll bring their plight to the desk of the king. Reassure them that you will try to aid them. You can. I'm right here. I'm by your side. Excuse me. My apologies. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yes, my lady? Ah, uh, I am... I'm not sure who this is. Would you like me to ask? Of course. Excuse me. May I inquire as to who this is? Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you. This is Brianna, my lady. Her mother perished of pneumonia two months ago, and her father perished in the Thirteen Years' War. She is expected to succumb to a heart defect any day now. I know. It is... It is heartbreaking. Yes, my lady? Your brooch? Why? You wish her to have something nice before she leaves this world. My lady, are you sure? Of 
course. Here, allow me to hold on to your fan for you. Uh, my lady, perhaps we should step away. I know. It is tragic. I wish I knew how to help as well. Come, why don't we move- <gasps> Who threw that? In a hospital, no less. How dare you attack the- M My lady, whoever threw that should- I- No, my lady. I am not questioning you. You wish to leave. Then allow me to escort you out. Excuse me. My apologies. Yes. Nurse? We are leaving. Thank you for allowing us to visit. Yes. As she said, we will send aid as soon as we can. Thank you. My lady, I really suggest you allow me to return and arrest- <sighs> I see. I respect your wishes, my lady. Here. At least allow me to remove the stains from your cheek. Thank you. Hmm? Oh. The villagers can say whatever they wish of me. I serve the queen. And if that amuses them, they must live very boring lives. Come, my lady. Perhaps you should relax in the carriage. I'm glad you agree. What a crowd. What? No, my lady, you did not deserve that. Regardless if they hate you or not, you did the right thing by coming here. My lady, you are not an evil queen. What? What do you mean? Wait, my lady, hold on. You... <sighs> hmm. Let me see if I understand. The king sent you out here so... So that he could have a rendezvous with another woman. My lady, if this is true, then... <sighs> oh. A woman. His love from before the marriage. My lady, I understand why you're upset. An arranged marriage to a man you've never met, to a kingdom that vilified you, it... It cannot be easy. You are not evil simply because someone decided your future for you. My lady... May I speak freely? Thank you. From the moment that you came to this kingdom, I knew you were not evil. You were shy, unsure of yourself, possibly even a little scared. Who wouldn't be frightened by a new kingdom and a new husband? I knew that you would be vilified. A woman stealing our future king away from his one true love. But I know you did not steal anything. Neither of you were given a choice. This does not make you evil. Tell me, do you know what would have happened if you had refused? No. Well, 
Likely, His Highness would have been married off to the Princess of Adicitania. That woman, forgive my tongue, is as selfish, vile, and cruel as a mountain bear. She would have destroyed this kingdom. But you, my lady, have done nothing of the sort. Not once have I seen you demand a royal ball, throw a fit over a gown. My lord, you did not even cry when a villager threw fruit at you. Of all the women his highness could have married, I am thankful to all the gods in heaven that it was you. A kind, thoughtful, sweet woman who tries too hard to do good for this kingdom. I can assure you I am not the only one who sees you in that way. Maybe now it does feel like that. But in time, people will come to see that you are a good and kind person. You are, my lady. You are a good and kind person. A good and kind person would not have allowed one of her maids to return to her home village and care for ill parents and continue to pay her. A good and kind person would not have personally overseen the appointment of the proprietor of the Haddonfield Orphanage to ensure the children were not put in the hands of an abuser again. Of course I saw all of that. I saw it all and more. My lady, I have spent hours upon hours with you as your guard. I know you better than most of the kingdom ever will. I know you are good. Whatever rumors the villagers try to spread, they are wrong. In time, they will come to love you just as much as I do. Uh, love, I, <clears throat> I... I mean, I, I admire you, not love. I just meant that as my queen, of course I love... Yes. Love. I know it sounds impossible, but from the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew I loved you. Your beauty, your grace, the way you greeted every member of the palace staff by name. And as time went on and I continued to be your protector, I... I knew I loved you. Your smile... The way you nibble on the tip of your thumb when you read an amusing passage out of your novels. The way that you speak to the hunting dogs as if they are pups. <laughs> All of that and more is why I fell head over heels in love with you, my lady. But our stations... Our stations are why I must settle to be your protector and not your lover. In another life, my lady, perhaps my feelings could be reciprocated, but I stay by your side because because if I cannot be the one to love you, I will settle for being the one to protect you. No. My lady, what do you mean, no? What? When did I say... Before we left the carriage... You always have a choice. My lady, I was referring to the visit to the village. I... I suppose it could translate to other areas of life. No, my lady, I couldn't. That... That would put you in danger, and I swore to never put you in danger. If what you say is true, and he is visiting his former lover secretly while he sends you gallivanting around the kingdom, then he should be exposed. But us doing anything together puts you in danger, and I cannot allow myself to be put in such a position. I know you say that nothing I can do will do harm to you, but how can I offer you love when we both know that nothing can come of it? It will only bring you pain. No, I do not wish to make your choices for you. Too many of those have already been taken. I only regret not being able to do more than promise you I will always be at your side. A 
kiss? But my lady. Ah, the, the cheek. My lady, even a peck on the cheek from you is enough to send my heart aflutter. Oh. Yours as well. I... <laughs> you, you really trust me to protect your heart because I already have it. That's... My lady, there is certainly nothing I have done to deserve such a precious gift. But I swear on my sword that I will do everything in my power to guard it. You should get some rest, my lady. We should be back in the kingdom by morning. Of course. I will gladly keep watch. Just rest against my shoulder. Here. I will keep you safe. I promise. No. Thank you. Sleep well, my lady. <laughs>